Michigan Governor, radical left Democrat Gretchen Whitmer, has a bill on her desk and she's going to sign it that's going to allow every 16-year-old in every classroom across Michigan to pre-register to vote. And we're going to talk about it. Welcome back, Patriots. Welcome back to Sons of Liberty 1773. This is indeed where men and women from around the world gather in defense of liberty. You know, I've been telling many people over the last couple of years that Republicans will never out-ballot harvest Democrats. We will never out-ballot harvest Democrats. And this is my reasoning. They, they're, they're, they control all the unions, the teachers' unions, Right. Uh, the you know the UAW the you know the manufacturing unions, um, and they're going to get with all their unions. That's their base to get ballot applications and get them filled out and um, get them in the voter rolls, right? And we know how that works. So now they want to you know make sure. And I seen this coming. I said the teachers are going to tell the kids they need to register, and here's your ballot. Okay, that's what's coming. But you got to get them pre-registered, right? And it used to be 17 and a half in Michigan. Now she's going to make it 16 years old. Um, so I've got the article pulled, and there she is right there telling the kids, we need to get you to register and then make sure you vote Democrat because you can go to college and we'll pay for it all. We'll take care of you from cradle to grave. You know, they don't teach civics in school. And they're going to, you know, they're going to say, well, this is civics. We've got to get them involved in the process. Well, they, they don't teach kids civics anymore. A lot of schools don't even teach civics, period. They don't teach um, our, uh, how our representative republic works, that we are a republic and not a democracy, and the reasons why uh, the founders picked a representative republic. You know, why there's a separation of power, how the three branches of power work. They don't teach them any of that because it's always democracy, right? Um, but here's the article. Let, let's... Um, uh -uh. get to it. Um, Michigan will allow 16-year-olds to pre-register to vote. This is at governing.com, by the way. Nice website, right? The state will join 16 other states in the District of Columbia in allowing 16-year-olds to pre-register to vote once Governor Gretchen Whitmer signs the bill. The new law will go into effect next year. 16-year-olds will be able to pre-register to vote under a bill headed to Governor Gretchen Whitmer for her signatures. It's already on her desk. She probably already signed it. The Michigan House of Representatives gave the final procedural okay to House Bill 4569 on Wednesday night. It passed the House in June and the Senate last week, both along party lines with Democrats voting for it and Republicans voting against it. No kidding. Michigan already allows eligible people who are 17 and a half years old to register to vote in preparation for the first election in which they would be 18. This bill extends that to Michiganders as young as 16 years old. Registered voters younger than 16 would also be able to participate in early in-person voting and absentee voting before an election, as long as they will be 18 on election day. Allowing young people to pre-register to vote, particularly while they're learning about civics in the democratic process in school, uh, I just went over that, will undoubtedly increase participation in our elections by ensuring when they are legally eligible to vote at 18. They will be all set to become lifelong voters, always Democrat votes, by the way, sponsoring Rep. Betsy Coffea. Democrat Traverse City said in the statement, and she is a far left looney tune, by the way. Uh, by July 2024, the Secretary of State's office will contact every Michigander between 16 and 18, 16 and 18 years old, who has applied for a driver's license or state identification card and is eligible to pre register or register to vote and has not done so. So they're going after them, folks. They want to have them ready to vote. Uh, before the November 2024 election. Um, from 2025 onward, this outreach will happen every year. Of course it will. These young people will be informed how to register to vote. They can do so online via, ma via mail, at the Secretary of State branch, at the clerk's office, or at any state agency that serves people with disabilities. In Michigan's voter rolls, 
called the qualified voter file, pre-registered voters would be specifically designated as ineligible to vote until they're 18, like we trust Jocelyn Benson to make sure that doesn't happen. When the person turns 17 and a half, the voter file will notify the local clerk to send them a voter ID card and add them to the master file. Um, unbelievable times we're living in. Uh -huh. Let me get rid of that. Um, anyways, um, get registered to vote, you 16-year-old. And, and just so you know, we now, it's no longer same-day voting and paper ballots only. You can vote a month ahead of time. Matter of fact, when you can vote, um, you know, we're so busy counting, it's very possible you can vote after um, the election is called. Um, putting in a little humor there, folks. Um, although, um, <clears throat> there's nothing funny about it, is there? Anyways, um, let me know what you let me know what you think in the um, comments down below. As always, um, if you would uh, subscribe to this channel, make sure that you hit the bell and check mark all notifications, and uh, share these videos. It'll help grow these uh, help grow this channel. But uh, love reading your comments. We'll, would love. Uh, I'll certainly want to see what you have to say about this one. See you. Bye.